All of you have your practice drawings, right? We're going to start with page one, the first drawing. Later, we're going to be looking at how to draw the three-dimensional mechanical parts. On that drawing, if you see anything like R9, for example, this simply means that you're going to have a circle with radius 9. I'm explaining the dimensions in the drawing. We are dealing with the first part, the first drawing on page one. On your drawing, if you see anything like this, 30, this simply means a circle with a diameter of 30. Here we are going to be using millimeters. Also, if you see this, in your drawing this simply means hidden lines or hidden circle with this basic explanation let us start the card drawing for activity one you see before you move to your software autocad software you have to have a sketch drawing or a design drawing or a planned drawing don't open a software and just jump in without having a planned drawing Step one in this drawing, I will pick center radius. Pick a point on the screen. The first circle I have there is diameter of 20. Now, look at this bottom part of the AutoCAD. There is D. So, the first thing I will do is I will type D and I will enter. I will type 20. I will press enter is a diameter of 20. Looking at your drawing activity, I have a second circle. The second circle is a diameter of 30. I will click center radius. Locate the center of this circle. Click and type D, enter, 30, enter. That's diameter of 30. If you observe closely, we have the third diameter which is 50, but that is a hidden line. So I will pick, circle, locate the geometrical center, pick, D for diameter, enter, type 50, press enter. The next circle is a diameter of 60 and is a hidden line. Next, I'll pick the circle command, click the center, D for diameter, enter, I will type 60, enter. Now I have an outer circle of 75 millimeter diameter. Pick the circle, locate the center, D for diameter, enter, 75, enter. Before I continue, you type O snap to ensure that all the endpoints, the quadrant, the tangent are all checked. I will Click select all for now. Click OK. Next, I will pick the circle command. That circle of radius 5 is on the 60 millimeter diameter. So I will click here and type 5. It's a radius. I didn't enter D this time around. Because it's a radius, I won't enter D and enter. I'll just enter 5 and press enter. This is radius 5. But if you observe clearly, it is at an angle of 45 degrees. I will pick a line. I will pick quadrant and click this center of the circle. If this line is not straight, you press F8 so that you can click on the center and press enter. This is a line. But I want to rotate this line by 45 degrees. In AutoCAD, if I draw a line and I want to rotate this line by 45 degrees, by convention, AutoCAD rotates anti-clockwise direction. If you rotate this by 45 degrees, it will move in this direction by 45 degrees. If I want this line to rotate 45 degrees in this direction then i will enter minus 45 
the minus will tilt this line by 45 degrees. Always remember that your clock is 12 and moves in this direction. I'm going to rotate this by 45 degrees in the clockwise direction. I will click the line. I will click rotate. I will pick the base at the center and type minus 45. Press enter. You see this line rotated by 45 degrees in the clockwise direction. If you look at that drawing, this circle is not here. I will move this circle from this quadrant and drop it in this position. This is where it's supposed to be. Delete this line. Next, I will rotate this. Looking at your drawing, that is 4. Click on this. Come to Array. Click Polar Array. Pick this center. It will give you 6 items. Change these 6 items to 4 and press Enter. You are going to have four. If this associative is turned on, deselect it and click close. Now we have this. Remember from the drawing that these two lines are hidden lines. So I can just change the color for now, just to yellow. They are hidden lines. Next, I have another four small circles of radius. 4. Now somebody tell me where that radius 4 is. It's on the 50. Yeah, it's on the 50. So I will pick a circle. I will locate the hidden line of diameter 50. Click. That is radius 4. I will just type 4 and enter. Next, I will click this. Click on polar array. Click on the center. Change this to 4 and press enter. Close. It's on radius 4. It's on this. This very circle here. There is another circle on it. Isn't it? And that circle is radius 9. I will click center radius. Click on this. Type 9. Enter. That radius 9, there are 4. 4 of them. Isn't it? I will click this radius 9, select polar array, locate the center, change the number to 4, and press enter. Click close or escape. Type trim, enter. For trim, enter again. Trim this off, trim this off, trim this off. Is this going away? Yes. This is going away. So I will do the same thing for this. Trim, trim, trim. I think we got it now. So this is going, isn't it? This is also going. But I'll trim this off. This, 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 and this. This big one, trim this off, off, trim, trim. Trim. This is going. Is that? Yeah. This one too is going. Yeah. This one too is going. So what is remaining now? Uh, yes. We have gotten the shape. Escape. Next, click the properties and choose others. Next, click load. You are going to see a lot of dashed lines here. We are going to choose this one that says hidden X2. I will click on it. Click OK. Next, I will click OK. I will click this and click this, which are the hidden lines. I will come here and choose this to show that they are hidden lines. But I want them smaller. I will go back, choose others. I'm not going to load. For this, I will click show details. Let me increase the global scale factor to 10. And let me also try to increase the current object scale to 10. I will click OK. Now, 
Let's try to reduce it. Go back to this. We choose 10, right? Let's try to reduce it to 0 0.5. So I will type 0 0.5. I will type 0 0.5. I will click OK. Better. You can vary the scales. Probably let's try 0 0.1. So I will go back to others. Let me try 0 0.1 and let me try 0 0.1. Click OK. The dot is telling us that it is a hidden line. Next, click this fidget spinner all around it. Next, come to this line thickness and choose something like choose 0 0.30. Escape. Next, nothing happened. Type line weight, enter. Choose display line weight, click OK. This is the main object, isn't it? And these are hidden lines. This main object, you can even change the color. Go to the property, you can choose a color for it, escape. And in the process of doing this, try as much as possible to save your work. If you don't save, you are going to lose it. So let's call it a name we can remember. We we'll give it fidget spinner save it you have to give it a name that you can remember what it is another day some of you leave it as drawing one drawing two drawing three when you have up to 50 drawings how can you remember what you have there we're going to be having different drawings every week if you have up to 50 drawings and i say everybody open feature spinner for me you start opening drawing one drawing two i hope you understand what we have done now it is your turn. Everybody go to your computer, turn on your computer, and make sure that you get the drawing done. When we are done with this, we'll come back and draw another one.